My name is Don Sorella. I'm from St. Francis House. I've been living there for 14 years. As a hobby, I feed the animals, volunteering, just odd little things here and there that make me happy in life. People ask me many times why I feed the animals, and it does happen on occasion, because they look at the, to them, it's not normal. And for me, it's normal because there's nothing else left for me to do. Because society kind of distanced themselves from me when I went to prison. So I, I became isolated. And what happened was I was so depressed and everything that sitting around and then the animals come up to me, they were friendly, and I started feeding them. And it became therapeutic for them that, well, they trust me, or at least you know, I feel good about that compared to how people were treating me, you know, like, like you're on, or, you know, or you're a drug addict and all this and that, you know, they, they look at you, they stereotype you. And, I mean, I can understand, society, I accept that. You know, first it bothered me, but it doesn't bother me no more. When I was in the prison system, I was, you know, working in maintenance and industries, learning a trade, and I felt like I could accomplish something in life. And when I got to pre-release, I had a job in, in Chelsea at Nancy Sales Company, and I worked there for one year, and they just gave me a promotion to be supervisor of the warehouse because I was so dedicated, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. And that's when everything changed, that lock them up and throw away the key. So next year you know, I went from being in pre-release, at Park Drive pre-release, thrown back behind the walls for the next um, 13 years. So it was like, here you are, you're doing everything you can and now you're, you're, you're a rotten, no good person. You, you deserve nothing and go back behind the wall. So it just, it just destroyed just everything in you. You know, then my uh, parents passing away while I was in, you know, that, it was like, it just took the wind out of, out of life on me. And when I came out, it was just total emptiness inside me. I, I had for, for a couple of years, and then just sitting out here, and then all of a sudden the squirrels come up and climbing on you. Oh, a little, and then all of a sudden I just found a new enjoyment in life, taking care of the animals. It became, it filled a void in me. Certain people, I always like to let them take care of the the squirrels because they're enjoying me. It's like, oh yeah, that's good. I'm a person take an interest. And maybe they'll influence somebody else. And then they, everybody gets influence on their, of their surroundings. It was like during COVID, a lot of people were saying that the environment and the animals, something that they never noticed before. Because now they had that, that one year break of staying home. They were like looking around and said, wow. I could see until the day I die, until I can't no more, <laughs> actually. You know, between volunteering at St. Francis House, cleaning up in the, in the dining area, and, you know, doing artwork and finding people that enjoy my art to have, it just, it just felt something. I accomplished something in life than nothing. Because everybody wants to, when they leave, feel in their heart that they did something positive. And I just wanted to leave on a positive note in life. <laughs>